Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Bands Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 19 tier list. And I know another tier list, but I really like these videos and, uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys like them too, so I'm going to keep making them. So, today we're doing the collection rewards. And as always, the tier list will be in the description so you can make your own. But this is the third tier list I've made, I think. Yeah, I made the Signature Series one, the Live Series Diamond one, and the and this one, the Collection Reward one. So, I'm just going to go through all 30 Collection Rewards and rank them. So the first card is the Jonathan Scope. And the Jonathan Scope, I'm going to put in the A tier. For the price, this card is so good. Versus lefties, he has 84 and 85. Righty, 79, 67, which will do some damage. His fielding is, it isn't that good, but it isn't bad. He can play second and short. I use this guy in like almost every event I can, and he rakes for me. So he's going to go into A. Next is going to be Jacoby Ellsbury. And Jacoby Ellsbury. I'm going to put him in the D tier. And that's because he's just underwhelming. So, his hitting stats are very bad for a 90 overall. His fielding is good, but his other fielding stats are bad, like his arm is bad. So his hitting is 102.75 versus righties, 76.52 versus lefties. He has 52 arm strength, 60 arm accuracy, although he has 89 fielding. 94 speed, 78 stealing is the only reason he's not F'd here. For the price, he is a D tier. Next, we have a Robinson Cano. And I'm going to drop Cano into the B tier. He's a pretty good card versus righties is 103.68 versus lefties is 78.79. 93 vision, nine, uh, 63 discipline, 95 clutch. 86 fielder, so he's a diamond fielder. He can only play second though. And he isn't insane, so he's going to go into the B tier. Next, we have Fred McGriff. Now Fred McGriff is going to also go into the B tier. Versus righties, he's 101.81. Lefties, 53.73. For the price, he's pretty good. He's not a good fielder, but he's really good for events. I really like that card. Next is going to be Brett Cecil. Brett Cecil, I really like that card. He's going to go into the A tier. Per nines are 70, or no. Per nines are 90.95. Not, 78 control, 75 velocity is why he's not S tier. 96 break. His, pip, his pitch repertoire is insane. Uh, knuckle curve, four seam, cutter, two seam, change up. The only bad thing is he does have a slider, but he does have a cutter. He is a lefty too, which is really pretty, pretty good. Next, we have the Avisael Garcia. He's going to go into, no, not Kenny Lofton. Put Kenny Lofton back. Avisael Garcia is going to go into the C tier. And that is because he's only good at one thing, and that's contact. Everything else, he's awful. So, yeah. Next is Kenny Lofton, and he will be our first S tier. He is so good. Even though the Indians collection is a little expensive, he is still probably going to be the best or one of the best cards on this tier maker. 113, 53 versus righties, 99, 41 versus lefties. And he has hit some home runs for me in offline games, but yeah. He's a contact hitter. He's so good. 91 fielding, 98 speed, 99 stealing. He's just a really cheesy card. Next is going to be the Gold Allen Trammell, and he is gonna, gonna go into the C tier. The reason why he's not D tier is because he's good at everything, except for power. 89, 77 contact, 42, 36 power, 93 vision, 85 fielding, so he's a diamond fielder. He has 73 speed, so he's fast, but he's just nothing special. Royals, Kelvin Herrera, I'm going to put into the B tier. No, not the C tier. The B tier. 83, 88 per nines. 99 velocity is really why he's in the B tier. Four seam change up curveball slider, two seam. That's another reason why he's in the B tier, not the C tier. He is a pretty good card. The 
twins, Rod Carew is going to go into the, the D tier. And that is because he is good at one stat. Contact versus righties. Everything else is kind of bad. He has 77 contact versus lefties. 89 speed, but he can't steal. He can only play second, he can't field. That's not that good of a card. Troy Percival. Troy Percival. He's gonna go into the D tier. Now that is because of his pitch repertoire. Actually, no. He's gonna go into the C tier. He's a really good card, but his pitch repertoire just makes him awful. He has a four seam, 12 six curve, and a changeup. If he has a slider, he'd be so much better. Athletics, Raleigh Fingers. He is going to go into the C tier as well. 76, 102 per nines. 83 velocity, 92 break, 85 control. Sinker, slider, four seam. That's a pretty good card for a gold card. The Mariners, Carson Smith. Carson Smith is going to go into the C tier. A lot of C tier cards. Carson Smith, 93, 96 per nines. 86 velocity, 93 break, 74 control. Sinker, slider, change up. If he, had a, if he had a fastball, he would be so much better. The Rangers. Now the Rangers is going to be our first F tier, and that is going to be the Derek Holland. 62, 69 per nines, awful. 92 velocity is pretty good, 89 break, uh, 74 control. His pitch repertoire isn't bad, but this card is not good at all. Now, the Mike Scott is interesting. On paper, he is an A tier. In my opinion, he is not an A tier. 95, 93 per nines. 66 velocities were rough. 99 break, 81 control. Splitter, four seam slider, curveball. He does not have a change up. So I'm gonna put him in the B tier. Next we have Warren Spawn. Now Warren Spawn, he's gonna go into the D tier. Not only does he have an annoying ass wind up that takes 20 seconds to throw one pitch, he's just not a good card. The Marlins, Kyle Baraclow, he's actually pretty good. Although his control sucks, for the price, I'm gonna put him into C tier. Daniel Murphy for the Nationals collection. He's a really underrated card. He's gonna go into the B tier. If he could field, he'd be A tier. Next is going to be Mike Piazza. And Mike Piazza, I'm considering putting him into the S tier. Now the only reason why I'm not going to put him into S tier is because his fielding isn't too great. No, not the tier. A tier. He's a really good hitter. He's the only catcher, I think, out of all the collections, I think. Phillies, Cole Hamels, I'm going to drop into the D tier. Actually, no, he's going to go into the C tier. 84, 79 per 9, 65 velocity. Pitch repertoire is there, that's why he's not D tier. Ryan Sandberg. Ryan Sandberg is going to go into the B tier. The only reason he's not A tier is because he doesn't have power. And actually, no, he's going to go into the A tier. The only reason he's not S tier is because he doesn't have power. Because he's good at everything except for power. Reds, Dave Parker, B tier for me. 9781 versus righties, 7355 versus lefties. 67 fielding is not good, but he has a good arm. He's a pretty good hitter. And just as I see the Jonathan Lucroy, Mike Piazza is not the only catcher, but Jonathan Lucroy is going to go into the D tier. He's only good at contact. He's not that good of a fielder, even though it's 80 fielding. Now, this is going to shock so many people who haven't seen my gems video. This gold Willie Stargell, S tier. Willie Stargell, and this is all online, is batting exactly 500 for me. 32 at bats in event games in BR. This card is so good. His swing is so nice. 97 86 versus righties. 
killer. 58-73 versus lefties, which will do some damage. He's not a good fielder, but still, he's so good at the play. I cannot tell you guys how good this card is. Next is going to be the Albert Pujols, and I'm going to drop him into the B tier. Now that is because he's bad in the field. That's pretty much it, and he's not insane at anything. Diamondbacks, Mark Reynolds, he's gonna go into the A tier. He's just so good at the plate where his fielding doesn't really matter. If his fielding was good, he'd be S tier. Carlos Gonzalez, we are going to drop into the B tier. He does everything well, nothing spectacular. That's pretty, and actually I'm gonna drop him to C tier because that's what the C tier is supposed to be. Three more, Orlando Cepeda. I think we have another F tier. One good stat, contact versus righties. Everything else, this card is trash. Just saying. Padres, Adrian Gonzalez. I'm gonna put him into the A tier. If he was better against lefties, he'd be S tier. Even though he, eh, no, it's pretty bad against lefties. And then the Oral Hershizer, he's gonna go into the S tier. He's probably the best one, maybe. Either him or Lofton or Stargell. What do I say about this card? 94, 84 per nines. 76 velocity, but his craft is just so good where it doesn't mean anything. Sinker, cutter, curveball, change of four seam. Such a good card. So yeah, that is going to be it for this tier list. I hope you guys enjoy. The link will be in the description. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I've been your host, Nick from Begins Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.